Coming up on First at Four, the family of murder victim Amber Spradlin met with members of the Floyd County Physical Court today about some concerns. And two homes catch fire in Perry County, leaving one family without a home. What the fire chief. Temperatures right now are in the 70s and 80s, but are the rain chances out of the forecast? We'll have that answer in a few minutes. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News First at Four. Good afternoon, I'm Steve Hensley. First at four, the family of Amber Spradlin is continuing the search for answers, this time for a different question, accusing one Floyd County official of spreading rumors about a murder for hire plot. WYMT's Buddy Forbes is in Prestonsburg with the latest. Amber Spradlin's cousin appeared before the Floyd County Fiscal Court today, accusing Judge Executive Robbie Williams of using her private phone call to spread slanderous conspiracies. Debbie Hall says Williams came into possession of a phone call between her and an inmate at the Floyd County Detention Center, which was recorded by the jail four months ago. During that call, she says the inmate asked her for money to post bail, and she told them they needed to serve their time before making a comment about M.K. McKinney joining them soon. That call, she says, has now been leaked into the community alongside rumors that she was trying to create a murder for hire situation in the detention center. And she blames the judge executive for tarnishing her reputation for what she claims was a joke. Williams answered those accusations during today's fiscal court meeting. I did not release those tapes. I don't know who told you that I released those tapes. And I've called and told anyone that there's a murder for hire plot. Okay, I did not, I have not done that. Saying he is in possession of the recording, which he says was anonymously sent to him on a flash drive. I don't think he was completely truthful about anything. Um, he didn't uh, have specific answers and he said that he wouldn't comment because of the ongoing lawsuit. Uh, but he did admit that he is in possession of the phone call. Williams says this murder for hire angle is something he had never even heard until today, saying the rumor mill has not stopped turning since Amber's murder. In Floyd County, Buddy Forbes, WYMT Mountain News. Williams says he expects the jail will undergo an internal investigation to see how he ended up in possession of the call in the first place. But that is not the county's decision. We will have more from Hall and Williams coming up tonight at 6. A minor was charged after police say he made threats toward other students at Prestonsburg Elementary School. Administrators say they responded to that incident today. Prestonsburg police charged the minor with second-degree terroristic threatening. Administrators said no guns were on the property and nobody was in any danger. One student in Harlan County was also charged with second-degree terroristic threatening. Administrators say an investigation began after threats were made on social media this week. The investigation revealed the student reposted screenshots. Administrators said created fear among students, parents, and school personnel. The student was arrested today and taken to a juvenile detention center in Breathitt County. Well, we had temperatures today in the 70s and 80s. That trend will continue for the second half of the work week and into the weekend. Outside right now, look at this. We're at 77 Hazard, 80 in Jackson. Moorhead is at 86. The warm spot on the map, go up to Louisville, 89 degrees. 10 cooler in Manchester. London's checking in with 78 degrees. Summer sets at 73. A few little renegade showers is being picked up on live pinpoint Doppler radar. Otherwise, the majority of us right now, staying partly cloudy and we'll keep the clouds in the forecast as we go throughout the next several hours. We'll go to 71 by the 11 o'clock hour, 67 by the 3 o'clock time frame, 5 a.m. We'll see a little bit of dense fog across the area. Temperatures will be in the mid 60s. So when you wake up in the morning, we'll see temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s. Now coming up in the first alert forecast, we've got a busy, busy weekend here in Hazard as the Black Gold Festival will be taking place. Will you need the raincoat? the sunglasses or a little bit of both. I'll have the answer on the first alert forecast in a few minutes. Steve. Eric, thank you. Two homes are destroyed and one family is without a place to live in Perry County. WYMT's Madison Carmouche spoke to fire crews on the scene. 
Three adults and two children are safe after an early morning fire in Perry County. Now the home where the fire began is actually one that no one lives in, but it ended up spreading to the family's home next door, but they got away before things got dangerous. Around 345 this morning, we received a call of uh, a residential fire with two homes involved in the Combs community. Upon arrival, we had uh, one home that was fully involved and it had spread to the other home. Chief Keith says depending on the weather, they will be working on these hot spots for the days to come, but he reminds folks that they are no longer in danger if they live in this area. In Perry County, Madison Carmouche, WYMT Mountain News. Keith says they fought the fire for nearly four hours before it was no longer a threat. Tonight at 6, we'll hear from the man who lost his childhood home in the fire. The Justice Department filed a lawsuit against the two companies that owned and operated the ship that, that destroyed Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge. The bridge collapsed in March after a massive container ship known as the Dolly struck a support column. The DOJ is seeking more than $100 million from Grace Ocean Private Limited and Synergy Marine Private Limited. Officials released footage of the wrecked Titan submersible today. The Coast Guard Marine Board of Investigation released remotely operated vehicle footage of the Titan submersible's tail cone. This video led to the conclusive evidence of the loss of the submersible Titan and the death of all five members aboard. In the foreground, a piece of carbon fiber can be seen beside the tail cone. In a statement issued on Tuesday, officials with Tupperware told consumers they had filed for bankruptcy. The company was once known for its infamous Tupperware parties, where consultants held parties to sell products to their friends and families. Officials warned last year of substantial doubt about its ability to keep operating in light of their poor financial position. This came after a surprise surge during the COVID-19 pandemic, followed by dwindling sales. Boeing is temporarily furloughing executives and other non-union workers to save cash as 33,000 union members continue to strike. CEO Kelly Ortberg informed employees about this in an email today. He says the furloughed employees will keep their benefits and they will be off work one week out of every four on a rolling basis while the strike continues. Coming up on First at Four, scientists have made a new discovery about fingerprints, how that could impact cases around the world. And in the world of weather, we have temperatures in the 70s and 80s. We have plenty of sunshine in the forecast, but will it last long enough to, ha to uh, go through the weekend where we have the Black Gold Festival? Details in a few minutes. Stay with us.